love eggs. I love eggs in many forms. And the best egg that I love of all is, is deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are my favorite. They're a family tra tradition. We have them all types, all times of the year, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, birthdays, holidays, anything you name it, we have deviled eggs. Even if it's just a simple get together, we love to do deviled eggs. To make deviled eggs, you need a couple of things. You need to gather your ingredients, mix them all together, fill your eggs, and you have a nice, tasty treat, a d'oeuvre, or a side dish. You make your choice. First thing you need to do is gather your ingredients. You'll need a pot, you'll need some water, you'll need some mayo, some paprika, about a third cup of relish, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of butter. Make sure you melt your butter before you start your eggs because you don't want to have clumpy butter. And you just need about a half a tablespoon. So first things first, to make your tasty deviled eggs, first thing you need to do is you Get your eggs. Now, depending on if you want 5, 10, or 20 eggs, each egg makes two deviled eggs. So if you want five, if you want 10, then you need five eggs. So you'll put your eggs in your in your pot. You'll fill it up to water, at least fill your water up at least two, three inches above your eggs. And you put it on the stove and you put them on high. You should boil your eggs for about 15 minutes. One way to know that your eggs are ready is you take them out of the pot, if you put them on the counter, you spin them, and if they spin upright, that means your eggs is ready. If you don't, you need to let them boil a little bit longer. Next thing you need is, you need your mayo. So you're going to gather all those ingredients together. Again, like I said, melt your butter first before you put them in your thing. So I've already mixed my mixture together, but I'm just going to show you what to do. You've already boiled your eggs. You need to make sure you rinse your eggs in cold water so that way you don't have hot, soggy eggs. You're going to take your eggs, and I've already boiled them, so we can go through this a little quickly. You've got your boiled egg, you've peeled it, and it's nice and cool. So the first thing you're going to do is, you're going to slice your egg in half. And if your egg is boiled right, you should have two perfect halves. You're going to take your spoon, you'll dig that out, you dig them out. And so I'm going to do about three just for now. And they should come out pretty simple. And if you don't mind the smell, you should get through this pretty quickly. So now you have your, your egg yolks. Then you're going to take your mayo. You need about at least a cup, depending on how many you want to make, and you're going to do it to taste. You're going to add your mayo. You're going to take at least about a third cup of relish. You can either use sweet relish or dill relish. It's up to you. You're going to add that in. And like I said, I use butter because I like my eggs to be a little bit creamy. You're going to pour that in. You're going to also pour a couple of little teaspoons of sugar. You're going to mix that all together. And what you're going to end up with, and I've already pre-made mine just to save a little time. And so here I have my pre-made filling right here. You mix that all together. You make sure you get all the egg together. You mix it. You have a little fun with it. You store it. Make sure you get all your ingredients all together. The next thing you're going to do is I've already pre-filled my filler. So you can do one of two things. You can use your spoon, or I have this nifty too because I make a lot of deviled eggs. So what you do, I've already pre-filled it a little bit. So you just add it into here, nice and neat. Nice and neat. You put this top on. Now you're ready to do the last part of your deviled eggs. I've already cut my eggs in half. And so all you're going to do is, now it's time to fill. Just fill it like that, nice and neat. Or like I said, you can also use a spoon and fill it like that. Okay? Now, now that that's done, it's time for the fill part. You're going to take your paprika. Some people like paprika, some people don't. It's just used as a garnish. So all you do is take a little bit, you dab it over your deviled eggs. And now that's it. Okay, so to make deviled eggs, it's simple, simple, simple. And like I said, in my family, it's a family tradition to make deviled eggs. So all you need to do is you gather your ingredients, you mix them all together, you fill your eggs, and you're ready to enjoy your tasty hors d'oeuvre side dish or a late night snack. And that's all you need to do to make deviled eggs.
Here's your finished tree.